Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Venusian Light Tarot. So today we are going to be doing an intuitive scrying reading. So if you have not seen these readings before, I am just going to be using the black obsidian scrying ball that I have here. And we're going to be um, channeling just information that I can pick up on in visions and just what spirit will tell me. So it's just going to be a channeled reading. Um, and we are going to be looking into the question, what important messages does the universe have for you right now as you're finding and watching this reading? So before we look at our selections, let's just set the intention together that this reading will be for whoever it's for. I trust that spirit will guide those souls to this message here today if it's right for them. And I trust spirit that you will guide them to the right selection and that they will hear exactly what they need to hear at this moment. So if you're drawn to the thumbnail, if you're drawn to this reading in any way, then that could be a sign that it's for you. So we have three cards to choose from. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce these cards. I'm just going to show them to you. Um, and at the end of each of the piles, I will be reading a bit from the guidebook or maybe just summarizing whatever I read um, because they do have some important or like nice guidance in the guidebook, but I haven't read these yet, so I don't know what they're about. So group number one, we have this card here. Group number two, we have this card. And group number three, we have this card here. So just choose whichever one pops out at you, whichever one intuitively draws you in, and that will be your your pile, your selection. And the timestamps are going to be down below. I will also have a link down below to my Patreon if you would like to see extra content. Um, I do post exclusive pick a card readings every week over on Patreon, as well as some other readings and access to the extended readings that I do on this channel as well, if you're interested in checking that out. So whenever you're ready, we will jump into group number one. Hello, group number one. If you chose this card here, let's go ahead and see what we can pick up on here for you. So this is going to be what messages, what important messages does the universe have for you right now as you're watching this reading and as you come across this reading. So Spirit, tune me in to any of the viewers who are here who chose group number one. So allow me to channel for anyone who's watching group number one and allow me to please channel any information that they most need to hear. So what does the universe have to say for them right now? What's important for them to know um, at the time that they are finding this reading? Okay, so they're showing me something clearing, like a road that's clearing. Um, but they're almost showing it in a very like forceful way in a sense but in a positive way and actually with this card here too it does look like with this light here too it's almost like there's a breakthrough um, i feel like the universe does want you to know that you are currently experiencing a breakthrough or you will be experiencing a breakthrough um, very soon i'm also being shown an owl here and there's something about looking all around you i don't know yet what this is about or what they mean by this but there's something here there's a few things coming up all at once so let me try to go one by one here i'm also hearing some of you need to be aware of what you're absorbing when it comes to the energy around you so the people around you maybe what's going on in your environment um, i feel like that's something that really you need to hear right now that the universe wants you to know that it's like while you are magnetizing and attracting a lot of things to you, it's like you also can be attracting anything in that, you know, you can attract positive things, but you're also maybe picking up on and absorbing energies that are not yours as well. 
So there's something about like with the owl reference of like looking all around you, um, not in a way to be like the, like a paranoid way, but just to be aware of your environment and to be kind of, um, there's something here that you need to know that there's something moving forward for you is what they keep wanting to say. But at the same time that you're moving forward, it's like there's also, I'm not sure if it's maybe the universe is saying something here about like uh, step by step, like move in steps or move. It doesn't have to be move slowly, but it's like you are making such progress and headway but maybe there's like a huge influx of energy or there will be and so it's kind of like it's about balancing that and finding balance between when to pull back or to sit back and when to move forward and to like take action so there's something going on with that i'm hearing too that for a lot of you who chose this you already are very connected to the universe and i'm hearing the, something with the cosmos and i'm getting there's some reference with this light here too to where you're connecting to a lot of light um so there's a there's a confirmation here that you are highly connected at this moment that you're finding the reading or watching it um of course it could be a little bit later too for some of you but you're highly connected and they keep showing me like different outcomes or like different they're, they're almost showing it as strings of light and they're all leading to like different outcomes or different things that you're attracting so it seems like you are in um some kind of like big alignment right now okay or it's something to where you're like getting to a point where there's going to be a lot of universal alignment in your life um there's a ton of things coming up here and as i said there's like a ton of messages at one time so this could represent also the energy that you are in okay or where you're heading to because it feels like um, there's so much happening at one time so I feel like yeah if this found you it's like you're, you seem to be on track on like the fast track is something coming through too but at the same time they're almost showing me something with like letting go or like sweating out certain toxins so that could be literal for someone if you have been guided to you know go through some kind of body cleanse or detox or if it's just more of an energy kind of way where in order for like the light to come out fully we are also dissolving what's behind it that's been blocking the light so i would say the main topic that keeps coming up here is like progress for you the universe wants to say this breakthrough and progress and light and i feel like i'm hearing you will be amazed so yeah you will be amazed at and for some of you specifically, maybe you, maybe you've done something recently. I'm not sure if it's that you've like set intentions for something or you've been manifesting something, and it's like you you're almost like wondering if you'll have that big breakthrough or if those paths will lead you to the outcome that you desire. And it's like you're going to be amazed to find that there's even more maybe than what you just asked for. Like there's a lot of opportunity but it's more than just opportunity it feels like for you this is like on an energy level and it's like starting there and then it's materializing into the 3d and, and it's like accumulating into bring this into fruition for you i'm hearing stay on track yeah and they're showing me that owl again so maybe some of you need to hear the message that if you are distracted by something or if something comes in and it kind of like distracts you or it could be again in the form of like a person or a situation that attempts to take some of your energy or your light that you are um, kind of accumulating within yourself there's a feeling of being aware of that and like just at the same time that you're moving forward being mindful of something that you need to take a look at okay like around you is something coming through here again I'm seeing 444 and I don't know the the meaning of 444 I believe it speaks about like stability but that could be an additional message here 444 but I'm also being shown again it's this really profound alignment um, so if your life has been not moving forward or if it has been stalled in some area or if you just haven't seen the level of growth that you've been seeking it feels like this is your message that that's what's coming 
um, a lot of fast progress, a lot of fast movement. And, um, and again, every time I say that, they take me back to the opposite message of like making sure you're resting too. So I don't know exactly what that means for everyone. If you're maybe like burning yourself out because of this progress, uh, it's kind of like there's a balance again between embracing the, the, the action and like the, the movement here for you and also stepping back. So it's like the gas pedal and the brakes. They're showing me the gas and the brakes. So however that's going to mean for you, finding some sort of balance. I'm also being shown here with the sun again coming up. I'm hearing things are unveiled. So some of you here might, I definitely would say that for some of you who chose this, you might experience like, again, a breakthrough, but it's almost going to be also in the form of secrets or information that has been veiled or has been hidden here from you. And it all comes out at one time. So yes, it could be about your environment, the people in it, but it feels a bit too big for me to grasp because I think that it's something that starts within the self. So how to explain that? They're showing me two thumbs up. So again, there's a lot of emphasis here on the time is right or the time is coming or the, the breakthrough is coming. But something about maybe some of you are having an experience which almost shatters any illusions about yourself. Okay, that could be it as well. And the universe is wanting to tell you that this is what's happening. If you maybe don't know what's fully happening within you, um, or when you start to experience these things or these strings of light is how they're showing it, leading you to a better path or to more, I can't even find the word to express what it is. It's just this feeling of the light coming in. Um, this might be you tapping into a part of you which helps to shatter any form of illusion or secrecy within self and that could be so many things it could be the perception of yourself it could be the perception of the situations in your life because of the perception of self so it just feels like a, a spiritual awakening here for some of you too and I will read that card at the end because I don't, I have no idea what that talks about that card, but it, it may have something here to do with this, with the sun. Um, what else, Spirit, for pile number one, anyone who chose this, what important messages does the universe want to tell you right now? Yeah, and again, I am hearing think before you act. So it keeps coming up here to, how, what is the balance between those two things, Spirit? What exactly do you mean by the balance between the two because I can even see it being for example for some of you like maybe for example um, let's say that you have like some big travel opportunity for work that you feel really excited about or that you've waited years for it may not be the situation but just an example although that opportunity is going to be amazing and is going to take you further and make you very happy you may not want to you know jump on the plane the next morning um, or to leave your whole life behind right away and I don't know the reasoning for this I guess it could be that there's certain things that have to you know just align first before to make it smoother of that transition like a smoother transition because it feels it feels like something which is going to change your life entirely and again a lot of this can be an inner shift to it or it starts within the self and then it becomes like out in your environment and so there's like a loss of words here to explain this feeling but when you go through something like that, it takes time to adjust to it. And it also is going to take a, a fine tuning sort of of 
where you were before this situation happened or before you went through this breakthrough. So maybe on a more like practical note, maybe it's about taking care of the relationships in your life or solving the issues that you have now or making amends with those situations or maybe it's simple things like getting your life organized or your home organized before you move forward i don't know what it is but there's something like that that it's like a preparation i guess you can say there's a preparation here the universe wants you to be prepared prepared for what's to come and as I'm like talking about this reading, it feels like the information's on the tip of my tongue. Like that's the feeling, like there's more that I could say, but I can't say it and I can't find it. So it's like, but it's that feeling of like, it's on the tip of your tongue. Like if you lose a word in your mind and you haven't, um, you, you kind of know what the word is, but it, you can't quite get it and it's on the tip of your tongue. That's the feeling in this reading, but how they're referring to it in this particular reading is the you know, the, the breakthrough moment or this joy and light and opportunity coming in is right there on the tip of your life. So maybe it has not fully happened or it has not fully developed. And so that could be the reference of like, yes, it's coming, but don't put the cart before the horse because it's going to come anyway. So not forcing it, okay? I don't know how else to put it, but hopefully that makes sense if that's for you. What else, Spirit, for group number one? What important messages does the universe have for group number one? Yeah, I'm hearing something in threes. So for some of you, I just heard somebody sneeze three times. And when they show that to me, it's usually like a confirmation. So this reading in itself could be a confirmation or something that I said here in the reading could be like a direct confirmation for you about something. But it also feels like there's blessings coming in with the number three too. Um, and if you ever do sneeze three times, that could be a confirmation to look around you at that moment or there's something that you should pay attention to in that moment. Like if you're watching a reading and suddenly you sneeze three times, that's just how they're showing it here. But I do feel like there's a lot of blessings here. And I am actually hearing that it's like the old skin of you that could be the feeling of the tip of the tongue reference. The old skin is has dissolved already and now you're like growing the new skin. And the new skin in this case represents this beautiful sunlight and this beautiful light that I feel is more of an inner process. So as I've gotten deeper into the reading, I feel like this is actually a very inner process for somebody. And that's why it's coming up a bit complex because it's something that, you know, when we go through like spiritual awakenings when we go through these profound transformations it's not very easy to explain what we're going through we just feel it and we just know it and we just kind of experience it and that's the feeling here so yeah i think that if a lot of you chose this and you resonate then you kind of know what this is speaking to and so just kind of having the message from the universe that yes the sun is coming out like yes the light is is here the light is coming um I'm also being shown somebody sitting back and watching a movie and I'm hearing spirit say sit back and relax. So again, it keeps coming through. So maybe this is just a time period for you to sit back. Um, and it maybe for some of you, you feel a bit uncomfortable, uncomfortable about that because maybe you're feeling this intensity of the light or maybe you feel like you need to do more or you have gotten used to doing more in order to get more. But I'm just getting this message here from the universe that like we've got this sit back and relax or if you've been outdoing yourself or pouring out too much um, at the time that you find the reading it could be really good for you to take maybe some time to some time off some time to rest but it can also be to just kind of in general for your future and how things are going to move forward that you won't have to kind of do so much anymore you won't have to push yourself so hard anymore you can sit back and watch kind of the movie of life unfold um, so like I said in the beginning with the cosmos reference, I feel like you are in alignment to receive. So when you're in alignment to receive, 
the more that sometimes you put resistance in front of it and you try too hard to force things, it can start to push it away. So you're already in alignment is what they want you to know. You're already there. You, you can sit back and you can kind of take a bit of a backseat um, position here. Yeah, they're showing me flowers blooming and they're showing me like a flower blooming here and over here and over everywhere, not just in one space. So what they mean by that is that flowers are blooming in all areas of your life and also maybe in areas that you didn't think flowers could grow in. So in other words, it's almost like there's a, um, like a very expanded feeling, like your life is expanding, your consciousness maybe is expanding, and there's many flowers that are starting to bloom that, again, you never watered them maybe because you didn't ever see them that way or you never saw maybe it's like a specific part of yourself or something in your life that you never watered that affirmation or you never watered that intention because whatever reason I don't know you, you couldn't find it or you didn't think that you could do it and those are now being watered somehow by something that you've been doing maybe I just saw 1818 so if you want to look that up that might be another message um, but they're beginning to bloom in all aspects and all areas. So yeah, it kind of makes better sense here as we go back to the beginning. It's like this breakthrough. And they showed me someone like walking up a field with a machete and just like, you know, taking all the uh, weeds away. So I feel like this is... I'm hearing ask and it is given. So that's a book. That book keeps coming up in my readings <laughs> for some reason. Um, so you may want to read that book, Ask and It Is Given, by Abraham Hicks. But it's also just more so, I think, the energy of that phrase, Ask and It Is Given. I'm also being shown some of you here, um, it's almost like they're showing me a big rock in between. and you have surpassed this rock like you've been able to climb over this rock and now you're not going backwards or you can't go back to where you were behind the rock anymore so the rock represents a certain obstacle that had prevented this sun from coming out or prevented certain things from manifesting so yeah i think that there's just a lot that is showing itself to you and will be showing itself to you um, and it's like you can no longer kind of go backwards even if you wanted to which you probably don't want to but even if you had wanted to like go back to that skin it's like if the snake sheds the skin they're not going to go back and like put that old skin back on that's kind of how they're showing it here um, so I feel like I'm also getting something here is coming in before I forget it. There's something here about frequencies and music. So some of you could be drawn to certain frequencies right now. Could be even something with eights in it since I saw 1818. I'm not sure if there's something with like eight, 888 or eight something, but there's something about a frequency um, or just listening to certain music that aligns you to open up your field or open up your energy more. So it feels like this is all about this openness, this expansion. And it almost feels too like I just got this emotional feeling in my heart area of like wanting to cry almost. So it feels like a very, maybe some of you are going to go through like a big release or you've already gone through that. But this is a very positive release. This is a release that I'm hearing to see what's available to you, to see what's available. So for some, there might be something that you go through, which kind of leads you to see how much you're worthy of or like how how much is available to you um but i feel like this could also be a message you know an important message from the universe if you have not fully aligned to this yet that there is so much more available to you that's becoming open now you know it's like the the door has become more maybe the doors were a bit closed and the light wasn't able to come into the room but it's like the doors are opening a bit more for the light to come in so
And I'm getting that overwhelming feeling again, which I think came up in the beginning, where it's almost like there's a flood of stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are going to be receiving like a flood of things all at once. And some of those things, again, it's like if you were to take like a yard sale or something and everything was in a, in a big barrel and someone poured out everything from the yard sale, you would only choose the things that you wanted. You wouldn't take the things that you have no interest in. So it's kind of like how they're showing it. Like you may attract many things to you because of something that's going on with you, some sort of breakthrough. Um, and so it's like picking and choosing what you want to take with you for your future. And like, what is, what do you want to, yeah, like what's beneficial for you or like, where do you want your life to go? Or like what certain things, even if certain things are attracted to you, you are the one who's assorting them, you know, like an assortment um, machine here. Like you're taking the things that you feel aligned to. So yeah, some of you might experience a lot of things from all angles coming towards you or coming back towards you. Um, I can't even pinpoint what they are, but it could be many different things. Maybe it's people, maybe it's people that you haven't spoken to for a while um, and or it's like opportunities in work and some of them are now have become lower quality or like lower than your expertise you know it's something like that like you're only choosing now a higher quality of, of things even if you do get start to get many opportunities so it's like that owl feeling to where you're kind of like the the master or the creator right now of your of your world so you can become that owl and um take a look at everything around you Okay, so I'm going to see what the guidebook says. If you don't want to um, stay for that, then that's okay. I'm going to read from the guidebook, but let me just grab it. Actually, I'm going to pull a few of these. I have these little handwritten kind of clues from Spirit. So is there anything that group number one needs to hear, Spirit? Anything else you want to add to this here that could be some kind of confirmation or sign so we have sapphire coming up so that could be a crystal that someone wants to have or work with it could be sapphire there might be something about sapphire that has a certain quality for you right now anything else for group number one that maybe would mean something for them any confirmation from the universe that they need to hear Okay, we have October, so that is not too far away. There could be something happening in October. We have above, yeah, and beneath that we have grow. So yeah, it's like there's something about the above, something with the cosmos, something with the universe. It's like there's, I don't know, something happening on a higher level we have call so there could be some sort of call coming in yeah you're manifesting a lot here manifest you could be manifesting a phone call for someone maybe this is happening in october we have pisces we have future so take these what they will mean for you um something about a pisces in the future or this is you again manifesting something for your future Maybe you are a Pisces, I'm not sure, something with Pisces. We have blessing, yeah. We also have, look at the sun here. So left could mean something for some of you if you're going in two different directions or if that's gonna be something which will be symbolic for you at the time. But yeah, lots of blessings. I just saw 26, 26, and we have blue. So something about, yeah, blue, sapphire. So maybe some of you, there's uh, crystals that are blue. Um, that could be helpful. And blue, of course, representing the, the, the throat chakra as well. And we have shift. Yeah, there's a shift happening. So let me read this card here. Okay. 
Okay, so it says, out of confusion, a clear and progressive pathway is opening up for you. I didn't read these cards. Um, it is an auspicious time to give generously of yourself to others, enriching the quality of your connections, expressing spiritual blessings of goodwill and encouragement from your heart. A powerful blessing is entering your world. A prayer is now being answered in a beautiful way. Spirit gives freely and generously all good things and the task of humanity is to learn how to receive the key to receiving is an open surrendered generous and trusting heart so let me just kind of scan over and see if there's anything else because it's kind of long here In learning how to receive, we also learn how to be received, how to be fully be held, which is an expression of unconditional love. When we experience being so loved, we learn how to love in such a way too. We become a true receiver, nurturer, and protector of the heart. The sacred chalice reminds us of our potential to hold, but also of the generosity of the universe in providing for us so we too can be held and receive all that we need. This means that you will not necessarily understand how a situation will work out, yet you will feel inner guidance to proceed in a particular way. Your inner guidance will often seem to disregard the otherwise convincing realities of the outer world. That inner wisdom has a deeper truth than appearances can convey. You may wonder at times if you are crazy to follow an internal guidance system so at odds with the way of the majority of people move about this world. Yet you will continue to know in depths of your being that your inner guidance is true and wise. As you invert your priorities from ego to soul, you will invert your locus of orientation from head to heart, from outer to inner reality. You will trust what your heart knows, whether or not that makes sense to your logical mind, or to anyone else's for that matter. This oracle foretells a happy, heartfelt manifestation, a true blessing coming to life. So yeah, very beautiful reading here for you, Pal One, if you chose this. Um, and I think some of that kind of confirmed also about like the owl reference again, um, really kind of trusting your own self here. Um, even if something that you want in your heart or that you're manifesting doesn't appear to, you know, like it said, kind of align to what other people are doing, or if there's something that you're kind of taking on in your environment, which is not yours, this is a this is a definite time to be very fierce and bold in your self belief and in your self kind of manifestations and in your just your your own essence right now because there seems to be a very big blessing coming in for you if not many at once and for some specific of you it could be around October okay um, but it's definitely coming in. So I will leave it here, uh, group number one. I really hope that this was resonant. I hope that this was helpful. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to check out our Patreon community if you would like extra content. And I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love. Hello, group number two. If you chose this card here, let's go ahead and see what we have come up for you. So we're going to see um, what important messages does the universe have for you right now. And at the end of the reading, I am going to be reading a bit from the guidebook, just some parts of it that are sticking out and how it can kind of connect to the reading. So let's just clear the space. So Spirit, tune us in here to anybody who chose group number two, anyone who chose group number two. So allow me to channel, please, for anybody who's watching for group number two. So what important messages does the universe have for the viewers of group number two? So what can you show me here, Spirit, about what the universe most wants the viewers of group number two to hear right now? Okay, they just showed me a card from one of my Oracle decks, and it says, splash around in your emotional world for healing or for healing messages I think it says so there could be something here about your emotional world that the universe is giving you a message about 
that there's some further insight or healing information um, that can be unlocked through your emotions right now. And I'm getting something here about like a treasure chest. They're showing me like a treasure chest full of, full of like gifts and full of, yeah, like blessings and gifts, but it's like we're kind of unlocking that um, or we're diving to seek that treasure um, in the water. So I feel like there's a message here for some of you, for someone specific, if you've been very much in your head recently, or if you've been overthinking things or kind of attaching maybe a lot to your logical mind, there's a call here from the universe to tap into more of your emotional body, um, even your physical body too. Like what is your body telling you? What are your emotions telling you? And this might even be about something specific, some specific issue maybe that you've dealt with, or maybe you've just felt a bit too much in your head or you've been overthinking things. You can kind of like alleviate that by going into your emotions. And there might even be something very specific that's kind of bothering you. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know, it's an issue in a relationship or maybe it's something that you can't quite like crack the code with or you haven't been able to find a certain solution for it. And I'm just hearing the universe say that it's like you're kind of thinking too much or you're putting, it's almost like in the way that you are perceiving the situation is maybe coming too much from, again, the logic and you can actually find the key to a lot of what you're looking for in your emotions right now. So however that kind of re relates to you here. Um, and for some of you too, there is a message kind of connecting a bit to, to shadow work. Okay. Or something connecting here to your shadow side. Um, I feel like, yeah, they're showing me the five of pentacles in tarot and they're showing me somebody knocking at the door, but no one opens the door but it's because there's something about looking in the wrong place or looking in the wrong direction. So I feel like a lot of what's coming up here for you, group number two, has a lot to do with... This has a lot to do with your inner self and your inner world. Um, again, I don't know what this card means yet. I haven't read it, but it, there may be something with the way this uh, woman is kind of like hugging herself. There may be something here about deepening your self-love, um, connecting to an experience with yourself that allows you to go deeper and to also kind of unlock certain doors that maybe you've struggled to unlock them. Um, or maybe you again are facing something right now as you're finding this reading and it's a bit frustrating for you because you feel like you're knocking on the door but it never opens or maybe you're trying to you keep trying to call something to you or manifest something, but it's like it never happens. And I feel like they're saying that there's actually something here to do with your your shadow self. For some, I'm even being drawn to uh, childhood, specifically something here about the mother. So that may not be for everyone, that's specific, but there could be something about your um, maternal line or the relationship with your mother okay with this again kind of woman holding herself here too so yeah I feel like there's a there's an invitation here from the universe to kind of let go of holding on too tightly right now to something or to putting too much weight or too much resistance on something because that's how it's going to allow itself to kind of unravel more. Like if we hold on to something really tightly or we squeeze something really tightly, it's hard for that certain thing to breathe, uh, obviously. And so it feels like loosening the grip maybe on something is a message and a guidance coming up here from the universe. Um, they're also showing me here that your vibration, your energy, Again, it's almost like, how to put it, there's something which is trying to elevate right now. It's like I'm being shown the number sequence 1111, but they're showing it as like like a half burned 1111. And what they mean by this is they're telling me that there's some sort of ascension like happening for you, but either either you keep putting water on it and kind of 
you know, pushing it back down again unknowingly um, by certain actions which seem to be, again, connecting something with your emotions or something you're holding on to. It's like, the universe is trying to gift you something or or bring you higher in life or, or you know or bring something into your reality but again it's um well they're showing in two ways like in one aspect you should be proud of yourself as to what the universe is saying as well if you have been doing this work or you've been um you know loving yourself more it's like you should give yourself the kind of the props for that because you're you're breaking out of some molds here and the vibration of yourself is rising it just could be you know maybe a slow progress um and others of you maybe are doing things only from the mind and not again the emotion so you would kind of experience a lot of very quick progress uh, in different areas, maybe if you were to include your emotional energy and, and kind of like even some shadow work or some deeper healing. But the other part of it could be more of like guidance if you're not seeing any results or you're not kind of like, you know, seeing your life move forward. There could be kind of a, um, a guidance here from the universe that, again, there's some kind of trauma here for someone that if you found this reading, it's confirming to you why something keeps happening for a few of you and you would know what that is because maybe you were just dealing with it or just thinking of it before you watched the reading and maybe you're wondering like why does this always happen to me or why is this happening and it's like the universe is kind of reflecting to you what that particular thing is um Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's almost like there's a, I'm being shown someone trying to put a shoe on, um, but the shoe is too small, but they're still trying to squeeze their shoe or squeeze their foot into the shoe. And again, what they're kind of saying is that maybe you have outgrown something that could be a message. Um, but there's something of like, I keep getting like, we want to take you higher, but you're still trying to put your foot in that shoe, but we're trying to give you a bigger shoe. Let's see, group number two, what else, Spirit? What does group number two, what are the important messages from the universe for group number two? Yeah, I'm being shown the heart chakra. So I will say for you, group number two, um, it keeps coming up here. So I don't know what maybe you're going through right now, or it could always be a bit in the future too. If you do go through something like this, there's something with your heart chakra. Um, there's something here that is trying to be un kind of leashed or um, cleaned up around your heart area, your emotions. And it doesn't have to be like a bad process for all of you. I mean, it, it, it could be something that some of you feel like excited about right now, or you feel like you are aware that you're on this journey at the moment of healing yourself on a deeper level and you could be very like happy about it and you feel good about it and again that's just a confirmation then for that group of you i'm seeing three 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 uh yeah there's three that's a confirmation for that group of you that you know you're on the right track with that and there's going to be a lot of beautiful things that you will find about yourself on that journey but others of you, if you're not in that group, you could either be avoiding this or kind of maybe upset about even hearing it. Um, maybe you don't want to look at that or you're you're trying to stay in only, I don't know, a certain mental state, but your body is not aligning to it anymore or there's a mismatch going on here. And so if that's you, this is kind of the, the gentle guidance from the universe to address that basically is, is what's coming through here because um, they keep showing me we can't bring you I keep hearing something like we can't bring you this unless and that's not to, to put like a, a limit on what you can have or to like a limiting belief on anything it's just kind of that's the way that you know it works within the self like we also have to feel worthy of experiencing those things that we want um so it's more of trying to give you a way to experience that not to kind of 
you know, be hard on you. Um, yeah, I'm hearing the way forward is through love or the, the path forward is through love. So there's something here definitely about love. Um, so for some of you, again, the specific situation could be maybe a relationship for some of you, maybe something that you are hoping to resolve or you're having like a relationship struggle or difficulty. And so it's like spirit saying the path to shift that is through love. Um, maybe not so much the ego or the, uh, the mind. I do feel also there's a very tender feeling here. Um, that card looks very tender to me too, but I'm getting this. Some of you might even be feeling the presence of like an angel around you, maybe even touching you. Um, but I feel like there's a strong angelic presence around you that the universe wants to tell you that they're definitely around you, this angel or these angels. I'm hearing, do not be afraid. Yeah, and they're showing me the, the heart again, but they're almost showing the heart as like a cage and they're opening the gate to the heart. And I'm hearing, do not be afraid. So this actually feels like a very beautiful message. Um, maybe some of you have been wanting to find love or you've been wanting to deepen, again, your self-love, but also maybe you've been wanting to open your heart to romantic love or to new love or just to experience more joy and love in your life. Um, and it's like there's an incredible amount of support around you helping to open that gate of love and, and of your heart and like do not be afraid of what it feels like to be loved um, and to experience love and to kind of harmonize maybe your connections and moving forward on your life. Um, I'm hearing something like not on autopilot, but through love again, it keeps coming up. So. I am getting that for some of you who found this reading. You kind of need to hear that everything that you've been experiencing up until this point, there has been a specific karmic relationship or situation attached to it. So maybe since the topic here seems to be about like maybe self-love and um, opening yourself up to receive things, there might be one particular chapter of your life where I feel you're at a point of letting that go or you're at a point of removing that sort of in a sense on a soul level so this is the invitation from spirit and from the universe to say that again you may have outgrown something but i think it's gotten to the stage now of more of a there's more of a um what was I saying? I just lost my train of thought of a deepening of the, of the, the self-love. Yeah. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Um, what else spirit for group number two, what is the important messages here from the universe for group number two? Yeah. And I feel also, there's also at the same time, you know, there's a spiritual activation or awakening happening for you too with the 1111 and I'm being shown like a path that leads up to um, like a lot of light coming in. So there's this connection to like the heart chakra and the crown chakra and how it connects us to deeper spiritual connection and truth as well. Yeah, and I feel like there's a message here coming up as well, again, from the universe to say something about I'm being shown someone like look around and I'm hearing something like does it add up or are you sure that it adds up and I feel like they are referring to something specific for you that maybe I, I, I'm not going to be able to know exactly what it is but there's something that again it's like the shoe doesn't fit maybe or you're trying to make yourself something that you're not or you're trying to make something that it's not or I don't know what that is. But I'm just hearing, does it all add up? And th what they mean by that is the connection to that treasure chest and 
that you know knocking on the door reference um, something that is going to originate from reflecting on an emotional feeling or truth that you need to feel to understand a situation okay and actually as I'm looking at this card I mean I'm looking here but I, every, every now and then I'm drawn over to this card it kind of looks like angel wings to me oh that's her hair actually but it it looked like angel wings um Group number two, anything else important messages here from the universe? I'm hearing wake up and smell the flowers. Some of you here could be drawn to write poetry or to do something that kind of allows yourself to express your emotions, maybe music or poetry. Um, wake up and smell the flowers. And it feels like they're almost showing me somebody like waking up from a slumber and realizing how beautiful the world is or like how beautiful they they are themselves with the self-love so this is a time period to and do things that really bring you pleasure and joy and like wake up and smell the beauty or the um see and hear and feel the beauty of life and of of self and of maybe the situations or relationships in your life that are moving forward in the way that you know you like them to um I'm hearing turn the frown upside down. So I don't know if somebody says that. I don't personally say that. I don't know if maybe um, that's a sign for somebody. Turn your frown upside down. Yeah, so it's like there's, it's almost like an encouragement here from the universe to almost say it in like a joking way to get you to, maybe some of you have found this at a time that you feel kind of sad. Um, or maybe there's a certain, I don't know something that feels kind of like you're 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 worried about something or you're anxious about something or there's a particular thing in your life that makes you feel bad about yourself or you just in general don't feel so good about yourself um it's like there's this warming sensation of like bringing you i'm hearing the permission to be happy the permission to enjoy life and to enjoy yourself and your self-love and all of those things. I'm seeing seven, seven, seven. Yeah, for one, for somebody specific, uh, this is only going to be specific, but some of you, for someone, you might be having to walk away from something which there's a very bittersweet feeling to it. So maybe you didn't really want to end a relationship, for example, um, but you felt like you had to. And so it's almost like the after effects of that, where on one end, you know, you're happy to do that because you may have not been happy there or you needed to do that for yourself. But on the other side of it, there's a bittersweet kind of feeling of sadness. Um, so there's almost this double feeling going on that are both that could be the head and the heart the the mind versus the emotions again coming up to where maybe they're in contradiction or in a battle um, and so it's again about maybe like being soft with yourself giving yourself permission to feel what you need to feel if that's for you But I also feel like some of you need to hear a message of just that simple like encouragement is coming up, even if it's not related to these deeper things. Um, it might just be something that, you know, maybe it's at work or something that you're hoping to like do better at something or to feel better. There's a, there's a message from the universe of giving you that encouragement and like almost like a cheerleader from the sidelines, kind of giving you like the, the go ahead or the yes that what you're doing is, is right or like um, yes, we're kind of applauding you here from the sideline or we see what you're doing. So I feel like you, you have a lot of encouragement to keep going with something that you're working on that feels right for you and good for you. I'm hearing the name Melinda.
And for someone, there's a message as well that if you feel like there's something incomplete or like a story that has not finished, that could be for a few of you, a few of you the bittersweet feeling. Maybe it's something that you do feel bittersweet about. Um, I am hearing that, that that puzzle or that story will is not over. It will complete itself or you will hear more about that situation. Um, I don't know what exactly that will be when it comes in, but there's something about taking comfort in knowing that um, whatever is kind of bothering you or whatever is contributing to that feeling of, of the, you know, the, the, the locked door feeling, it will resolve itself or you will hear more about that situation or you will, maybe if it's a breakup, for example, you will at least um, be able to talk again or to hear the missing piece that you didn't hear about that before. Um, so it's not fully over and that could be for some of you the uncomfortable transitional feeling that you currently have or maybe it kind of, I don't know, it's like maybe it feels uncomfortable somehow or it feels like there's something missing that you have yet to experience more of and I feel like you will experience that. Um, So I'm going to get a few of these little handwritten kind of clues here from Spirit. Look at that. We have feel. Um, and then I will read a bit from the guidebook and see what the guidebook says. Anything else, Spirit, that you would like to say here? Here's eight. I don't know if I mentioned eight. Was it this reading or, or is maybe last reading? Yeah, I think it was the last reading. So that could mean something for someone. These could mean different things. It could be eight days, eight weeks, eight months. It could be um, August. It could be a personal number for you. Anything else, Spirit, for group number two that you would like to say here? Intuition. Okay, yeah, so see, it's very intuitive. There's a very intuitive feeling here. I'm hearing, are you okay? Again, I don't know, that could be a guide or an angel asking you, um, but there was something that came up earlier in question format. What was that? Something about, is everything adding up? Yeah, so there's something about having, having to ask yourself that question, like, is am I okay, maybe? Or is this right? Um, is the situation right? Is everything adding up? Okay, so really feeling with your intuition here. We have months. Okay, so it could be something in eight months for somebody, or there could be something happening in a few months' time. I'm noticing we have solar plexus, so that could be a chakra that might um, connect with you as well, or that might be an area that's affected here, especially with the reference of the Five of Pentacles when they showed me someone who was knocking and the door never opened. For some, there could be like a self-esteem issue here, or there could be something involving um, boosting your confidence to really attract uh, those things that you desire, which is that part of you that maybe is, has been neglected or, or hidden. We have happy. So yeah, I feel like it's maybe feeling happy. I was getting that turn your frown upside down. So doing things that make you feel happy depends on where you are right now maybe some of you have been feeling happier um, or you you do feel happy but others of you might need to find a way to that happiness through these things that are coming up okay but if you've been feeling the the beginning effects of maybe self-love or things like that this is a confirmation that um, there's something here about um, you're on that right track of happiness so there could be something here in the fall. Uh, okay, something with the fall season. So this is on top of months. So it could be in a couple months. I don't know exactly what's happening then, but maybe some of this these things will happen at that time period or the changes will happen then. We have dream. So I feel like this is, we have Uranus here beneath that and we have yes. Yeah, and here's mother. So I was getting something about mother earlier. So for some of you, what I'm getting with this is that there's something about uh, that cheerleader feeling that um, maybe something that you're currently doing that yes, this is right or a, a certain dream that maybe you have or, or unique things that you're dreaming up or unique ideas, maybe doing things differently. 
but pay attention to your dreams too because it feels very dreamy this reading feels very like again intuitive dreamy we have stuck we have june so some of you may have been stuck about something since june um Anything else, Spirit, before we look at the guidebook for group number two? I'm hearing somebody's name could be June as well. East. We have Sage. Yeah, so you could benefit from doing a sage cleansing, okay, as well as any quartz crystals, clear quartz. Um, there could be an offer in November of some sort. I don't know what the offer is, but maybe a dream of yours or something that you're intuitively already picking up on could be coming in the November, in the fall. Something here about the direction of east could mean something. Um, but yeah, sage, anything kind of clearing maybe is coming through. So let's read from the guidebook here. If you don't want to uh, listen to this part, then that's fine. But I'm going to see what, what else we have here from the guidebook. Okay, so it says, do not turn away from your path, nor from what you know in your heart to be true, no matter what appears to be, nor what logic may dictate. I love how these really align. I didn't read these beforehand, but yeah, with the logical feeling was what I was getting. Um, Trust what your heart is telling you. You are safe and protected by spirit. You are spiritually empowered with all that you need to manifest your authentic soul path. You have what it takes to connect with the light and live that connection in practical ways which contribute positive energy to our human collective. So I'm just going to take a few parts from this rest of the description because it's very long here. Um, this oracle asks us to get out of our own way. Often we make things more difficult for ourselves even when our intentions are good. This is because we see things from a limited or partial perspective. This doesn't mean we should refuse to act at all. It just means that we are practicing sensing and following spirit by tuning into the heart. We will act from, from a more centered and wisely guided place. Our actions will be more likely to hit the mark. When we flow with the greater wisdom of life, far-reaching positive consequences awaken. Recognizing that spirit is wiser than your own personal opinion is the prelude to true awakening. The more awakened we are, the more genuine benefit for all beings can unfold through our endeavors. To be clear, the guidance of this oracle is not to hand over your power, nor to seek out spirit to tell you what to do. It is always up to you to exercise your free will and to live your life as you choose. Sometimes the responsibility behind such freedom might seem too much. But this is our task as human beings, to own our freedom and exercise it with wisdom and delight. When you trust your courage more than your doubt, you will be ready to listen to your spirit and ask on, act on what you perceive. You will be capable, willing, and ready to live as a light on this earth. You are encouraged to ditch the, the drug of doubt. Doubt undermines your confidence and sends you on a mission to gain approval before making every decision. Approval can become the hit that alleviates doubt temporarily, but it prevents you from building the strength that you need to listen to your own spiritual knowing. You have it within you to be spiritually sovereign. This oracle asks you to recognize your inner potential and to practice trusting yourself and your capacity to respond to life's unpredictable happenings with soul honoring integrity. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense with the intuition here as well. Some of you needing to be kinder to yourself right now, um, loving yourself, giving yourself permission to do as you feel and whatever maybe is that feeling of you're locked, you know, the door doesn't open, um, could be what they were referring to as well with the doubt that maybe you have. So really feel into things and trust your knowing and not so much your logic or what appears to be on the outside. And for someone too, you might have something in your heart, a dream of yours 
that is maybe very out there or maybe very different than what you think you should do or it's a, maybe it's a very far reaching kind of goal um, and they are saying here to really trust that and if that's in your heart and you feel that that's right for you then don't limit yourself to do that or to pursue that so yeah i will leave it here group number two i really hope this reading was helpful i really hope this could find you at the right time if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up comment down below i'd really appreciate it and don't forget to check out our patreon tribe where i do post exclusive readings over there so i will talk to you all next time take care and lots of love hello group number three if you chose this card here let's go ahead and see what we have come up for you so i'm just going to clear the space and then we will get started with your reading and at the end of the reading i am going to be um, reading a bit from the guidebook to see what information comes up from the guidebook so i have not seen the card yet um, i have not read the meaning of it so we'll read that at the end Okay, so Spirit, tune us in here to anybody who is watching for group number three. So anyone who's drawn to this card, group number three. So what important messages does the universe have for the viewers who are watching here? Allow me to tap into anyone who is here, and I trust that they will be here and that they will hear what they need to hear at this moment. So group number three, I'm hearing we are watching, okay? So immediately I felt drawn to connect the word karma here for some reason. So there could be something that the universe is watching closely right now when it comes to your life or maybe a particular part of your life. Um, there's something about it with this um, kind of bird here too. Something about it feels like there's a big transformation happening, but I feel like you, yeah, this actually feels... interesting okay so let's kind of dissect what they mean by this because they're showing me a lot of references here of like they're kind of showing me somebody cycling around the same thing um like rinse and repeat rinse and repeat so i feel like for you group number three what the universe wants you to know they keep wanting to say we're watching and i'm also being shown an eagle um, I don't know if this is an eagle here, but I'm, I heard something about, or I saw a card from a deck, the eagle, and it says, Spirit has your back. So I feel like this is a pretty strong message, actually, for whoever chose this group that um, we'll see maybe why this is or what comes up, but you are definitely being very watched over by the universe and by spirit. Um, and there could be something about like the universe being on your side right now, especially if you're going through something which maybe you feel is troubling you or you feel like there's some kind of like justice needed in a situation, the universe has your back. Spirit is definitely watching closely. Um, yeah, I'm getting also something about putting your hands kind of off the wheel, so to speak, in terms of the universe is taking care of something. So I feel like there is definitely a message here of... Um, they're showing me something here about like a, a future path and they're almost showing me like a castle in the distance and there's a lot of things growing there and they want to emphasize how the path that you're kind of taking to that castle, um, there's going to be a lot of growth when you get there. But maybe there's something here for you that you are having to be patient about or again, it might be something involving some sort of karma here where as you're walking kind of on that path to your castle, um, the universe is trying to take care of something in the meantime. Okay, there's something like that coming up here. Group number three, what important messages does the universe have for you? I'm hearing don't sweat it. Yeah, so out of the three piles so far, this one does feel to be the most like uh, like important or like urgent that there's something that at the time that you find this or possibly coming in, sometimes it can be further along, um, don't sweat something that maybe will come up or that will arise or some difficult situation or something that maybe you feel again is unfair or maybe um, I'm not sure what it is, but they're showing me almost like a void space 
and then it kind of moves from the black void space into more of the light. So it's like something will kind of shift and change from where you may think that it's ended or that it's nothing's there or something uh, kind of difficult um, is going to lead you into more of like the, the path that will grow eventually, you know, or if you're having like maybe a, a bump in the road with something or maybe you have a setback. Spirit has your back. I'm also being shown this congregation of of spirits and guides, and it's almost like the way they're showing it um, kind of came up for another group too. But for this one, it feels stronger. It feels like there's almost this um, like a congregation of guides that are like um, almost like the six of wands in tarot. If you know what that looks like, the traditional rider weight six of wands. It shows a man riding a horse, and everyone in the town is like has their hands in the air, like. Um, it's almost like fist pumping is what I'm getting. It feels like you have this congregation of guides that are encouraging that for you. And there's something about that path, that castle. So yeah, I would say for you, group three, it seems like the main thing coming up here that the universe really wants you to know in an important way um, is that it's like you will be the winner in something that maybe you don't feel right now that you're the winner with um, or that is kind of has been orchestrating or been you know, being planned for you for a while. And um, it's like you're going to be, be maybe making your home run kind of, you know, you are on that final stretch to the home run to the castle. And it feels like there's this such applause and kind of uh, victory dance kind of is, is what's coming up here. Yeah, they're showing me a goldfish and then I'm seeing like the one goldfish becomes a million goldfish and I'm hearing it will multiply. So this could definitely be in terms of money because when I think of a goldfish I think of money but it could be anything but it does feel like a lot of you are going to see a lot of multiplication of things um, in a positive way that's why it feels so much of like this victory so take this how this will fit maybe some of you feel like you're not maybe you feel like you know the goldfish are not multiplying you only have one or two um, and this is this message of spirit having your back to create that to happen for you and again, with the word karma, I'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to read that card to see how that connects because I don't know what that card's about, but it feels like um, there might be something here that maybe has, um, you know, kind of been difficult for you to get to your castle or to have that victory for some reason. Maybe some sort of karmic interference. For others of you though, I am getting a message that the universe is also giving you an encouragement to kind of increase your effort with something. So yes, you know, this is happening for you, but if you maybe could do more right now, um, maybe it's putting more effort into your job or maybe it's putting more effort into positive thinking something about increasing your effort because when you make a small increase it's going to multiply it's like the universe is kind of waiting to see your next move in a way so but yeah they keep getting the same references here i'm also being shown a like an equation being solved or like a puzzle completing and i keep hearing the solution is near or the solution is here so and it seems like for some of you, if you chose this, maybe you're confused as to how the solution could come up. You know, again, I don't know if it's maybe a, a complicated or complex situation for you. Maybe you're kind of confused as to, you know, how would this solution even arise? And it's something that is, we can't kind of see it right now, but it's happening. Um, Group number three, what important messages does the universe have for you? Yeah, and I believe this has come up before um, for the last month or two in some of the pick a card readings that I've done. And I've mentioned every time that if this is you, some of you might be becoming famous, might be becoming famous, um, or you're going to at least have a some kind of big breakthrough which puts you in a very well-known recognized 
position. Okay. So if that's, if I've said that before in the reading to you watching, this is just another confirmation that maybe you're going to be doing something which is going to be seen by the public. That could be why I referred to the six of wands that won't be for everyone. Um, but for some of you, definitely there could be a lot of like public recognition, maybe in work. It could be in other areas too. Um, but I just feel like they keep referring to the future here something about like the future so I feel like this might be a message for some of you who are either just starting out something and maybe you have big dreams for it um, or maybe you've you have like a long-term goal for something and it's like this is the message from the universe that like yes this will materialize into the success that you've been hoping to achieve and even better probably than what you had thought um, so it seems like there's almost like this again push or like the universe being on your side to help to deliver something to manifest itself and if you've been maybe a bit confused about like maybe the logistics of something or how to form this business or how to get something like maybe I don't know maybe you have some kind of goal in mind but you don't really have the means to play it out or to figure out how that would happen that's kind of this message, the meaning behind this message, that the biggest part of it is that it's like you're either doing something which is very needed in the world, so it's very supported. So when something is this supported, it's like it's going to, um, the tools are going to be given. The, the boost that you need is going to be given because the universe sees what you're doing and they see how valuable it is um, and how valuable that you are. Okay. Anything else? Group number three. Group number three. What uh, important messages does the universe have for you? Yeah, but I keep being shown a lot of people around you. So if it's not in terms of like a public recognition, um, some of you may just have a lot of people that are going to want to be around you or get to know you or like um, a large crowd or, or just a lot of friends maybe or just a lot of people who I feel are going to be around you. And um, I am being shown like this almost rags to riches kind of feeling. So that's why I'm wondering too if there's something for some of you where something will happen here which will kind of give you a very big breakthrough and it could also be in your romantic life too you know for some of you or friendships maybe I'll just use an example maybe you were somebody that um, I don't know didn't have a lot of friends or maybe you were somebody that didn't have any romantic you know action or interest or something like that or you didn't have the ability to it's like it's kind of going to go from zero to a hundred that's kind of how they're showing it and it seems like the path to that though is quite mysterious or you're already taking steps to create that for someone i'm hearing something about a sacrifice so you might be going through something where you're having to like maybe sacrifice one thing that could be why it feels a bit like going from nothing to, to something maybe it's something that you have to like I, I don't know, end something or sacrifice something or it's a, it almost feels like in exchange you're being given that castle. So take that how that will mean this could be something literal for some of you. Maybe you're selling something and you are worried that like if you sell maybe your home, maybe let's just say like you're selling your home and you're hoping for this like um, much bigger home or this like very luxurious home that right now you don't think you could maybe afford but you're taking the chance to sell your home now and hope that it will show up maybe one day or hope that I don't know that you can get that one day and it's like maybe that was a sacrifice that for some reason you had to make and maybe it helped to clear something that was no longer supposed to be attached to you and then as you do that it kind of like helps to free up some kind of energy and then you magically or mysteriously you know the universe will help to work you towards actually having that dream 
of that home that you wanted. Um, it could be the same in like a love connection too. Maybe you are deciding that uh, this person is no, no longer suited for you. And as you do that, it's like it swaps with something that is going to be like 10 times better. I'm being shown something here about a pearl necklace, okay? I mean, it could be the symbol of pearls, but for some reason I had been shown a pearl necklace. I'm not sure what that means. They just showed me the pearl necklace, but nothing more from that. So, I'm hearing the Michael Jackson song. Um, something like going to be starting something are we going to be starting something and he keeps saying like starting something starting something i think so yeah there's something about like maybe there is some sort of new beginning here you're going to be starting something um or we got to be starting something and it feels very invigorating to me um, it almost feels very energizing so I think that kind of came up for another group too, but there's like a preparation here for, in this case, I mean, this for Pile 3 feels the strongest or like the most dramatic. Um, it feels like there's, it's like if a lightning bolt strikes and it kind of suddenly creates everything. That's like how they're showing it to be. Um, maybe you're just waiting for that bolt to strike or you're waiting for that viral, you know, I don't know, a viral thing or thing to go viral or video to go viral or maybe it could be so many things, but it feels like that will happen, whatever that is. Okay, so they take me back to the message that we are watching. We are watching. So what do they want to say about that? I'm hearing the name Brian. Okay, they're showing me like a, a broomstick and something here about sweeping away. Um, yeah, it almost feels like this is a very, how to explain this? It's like there's something happening right now in between the two, and that could be the sacrifice message. Like they're almost showing me if there was like a split in the path here, and this is something where, I don't know, there's something maybe on this side, like an older path, and then we have this side here, and they're showing me the broomstick in the middle, and something about how we are watching what's happening right now as something is swept away or something is changing. So maybe some of you are like in the middle of something right now, or maybe you're, yeah, like in some sort of transitional period because it came up before with like the road that leads to the castle. And as you're walking on that road, in the meantime, something is adjusting so that you can get to the castle and unlock the castle and have the key to it. So... I guess it's kind of like the journey or the path that you're on. You know, yes, we have to take steps to get there. And that could be what they referred to the increase your efforts. Um, but maybe at the same time, there's something else clearing too in the background, something karmic, maybe something that is allowing for that castle to even be there. Um, I hope that makes sense. They're showing me somebody taking things out of the freezer and letting it thaw. And what they mean by this is a similar kind of message that if something has been maybe frozen in your life or some situation has been on ice, it's like it's, it's out in the sun now. It's thawing. And it's the same reference of like the castle. Um, it's going to all be okay. Maybe something that 
you've been worried would stay kind of in the freezer, so to speak, or it would never happen, or I don't know what this is. Yeah, they're also showing me an eraser. And I just kind of want to like take the eraser and erase and erase the word karma. But for the most part, to kind of summarize it, I just feel like I'm also hearing blood, sweat and tears. Um, for the most part, the main message here for group three is that your efforts, your kind of blood, sweat and tears even if it includes, it almost feels like it includes everything. Like it, it could include the karma that you um, have in this lifetime or from past lifetimes. The road, the difficult road of the blood, sweat and tears in various settings and situations in your life are paying off and soon to be in view is kind of the result of all of that. Again, the castle. I don't know why they keep showing it with the castle, but um, for some of you, it could be a home. Since I referred to that, maybe you want to, you've been hoping to have like your dream home, but it also symbolizes more of like, when I think of the castle, it kind of brings me a sense of, you know, royalty or luxury. So that road, that path that you've been walking and those sacrifices that you've made along the way seems to be on the, the tip of manifesting into physical form to prove that all of that was worth it. Okay. Let me grab some of these to see if we have any other details and then I will read from the book. Um, so we have unknown. And we have open beneath that. Yeah, so it could be that path is, is unknown. Because I had referred a few times to something which feels a bit mysterious. So this could be like an unknown path that, you know, again, maybe some of you are at a point where you have no idea how this would even happen. But you've just chosen to start walking on the road and hope that you can find the castle or hope that something appears. It almost reminds me of like somebody lost in the desert and you hope that you will find that home to rescue you or you will hope that you will find that um, body of water for, the, for, for you to survive. And it's like you may have to have just faith that if you keep walking, you will find it. Or it's like if um, the universe tells you keep walking in the hot desert but your logical mind tells you that that's not a good idea. But they say, if you keep walking, you will run into the water or the rescue or something. But you logically don't think that that's possible or that you should do that because obviously you feel like that's dangerous. But you have to have blind faith that, that the universe is right and that the universe in this case representing the universe, yes, but we're all connected to the universe. So it's also your inner knowing too. So we have job, work. Yeah, so for a lot of you, I feel like this could be in your work life, but it could, other areas could also, inc you know, involve this or touch on this. But I feel like um, for someone, definitely there's a big breakthrough happening in work. Okay, with that goldfish reference, a lot more money um, or some position that is a really big reward for you. We have water. I was just talking about the water. What else, Spirit, for group number three? I'm hearing that song too. Do you believe in magic? Okay, something about a lake and water here. So again, that could be some, these could be very specific for a few people. Maybe it's again about a home that you would like to purchase on a lake or the ocean. Um, 
but it could be spending time near the lake or the water. We have hidden, hidden risk. And then we have mercury here too. Yeah, I was just being shown something about a book too. So some of you could be learning something through a book. There could be information right now that's being uh, given to you through, um, you know, communications, books, social media, um, something you're learning with the mind. There could be a hidden risk. So yeah, see, look at this mystery. Okay, for someone specific, there could be an email, something through communication that will be coming in. Um, that definitely could be for somebody or for a small group of people. Maybe a, an email that will come in and it's kind of like that is the representation of that oasis that's waiting because it's going to be very quenching when it comes in. Some kind of big opportunity. Or maybe you've emailed something and you're hoping to hear something back. But it seems like this is a mysterious risk coming in. Or you're already on that path. <laughs> wow. Secret. So obviously I don't think Spirit's going to reveal much more here. We have fast. It could be become, uh, coming in fast. We also have Mars here. We have between, 555, five, five. yeah. So see, there's something about like the in-between right now. Okay, let me read from the book here to hopefully give a bit more information. So let's see. Okay, your sacred soul passion is powerful enough to shift the state of your inner reality and your outer experience. So commit to what truly ignites your heart and do not be dissuaded by anything or anyone. If you are seeking to make a commitment, do so when it truly connects to your heart. Follow your genuine, meaningful bliss. Know that no matter what appears to be, you shall prevail, you shall arise. Yeah, so it's kind of what, no, know that no matter what appears to be, you shall prevail and you shall arise. So maybe something appears to be unknown. Like I said, maybe something appears to not going to be happening or appears that you are, you know, jobless maybe, or it appears that you will never have that dream job. So I'm not going to read this whole thing. Let me just scan over and see what is important here. We often pursue what is sensible and secure, yet what could be more appropriate than pursuing a path so intoxicating, so fascinating, so utterly mesmerizing to the spirit that no matter what challenges arise, you feel so much love and commitment and passion you shall not turn away. That is the stuff of potential greatness. We might call it being led by our hearts. Kutahala is permission to do just that. Without commitment, one takes a leap, tries to fly, fails, and rather than going through the process again and again until there is understanding that leads to, to mastery, one tries to ride a bike or surf, dance, teach, heal, or other things, never giving any a chance to settle and evolve. There is inherent wisdom in Kutahala. Let yourself be truly excited and inspired. Allow yourself to stumble, to not know, to become the holy mess that precedes sacred rebirth. When your attraction is deep and soulful, you will have the capacity to stay the course, even through difficulties. Don't allow the ego to tell you that the struggle must be a sign that the path is not right for you, and thus drag you away in search of substitute paradise. This oracle can relate to those times when you are just discovering the path, feeling inexplicably fascinated by something, and encouraged to explore just what the true nature of that fascination could be. 
Then the karma of wonder is guiding us to fulfill the deepest longings of our soul and attain spiritual freedom in the process. We often think karma is negative, but positive karma is our connection to guiding grace, the soul's delight that empowers us to live with joy and rapture. This oracle encourages, encourages you to recognize that in its own way, spirit is, impractic, spirit is practical, not impractical. It just tends to go via the delirious, rapturous, astonishing, and deeply healing route. Trust what you love and let your heart lead you. You and your life shall become luminous, sanctified in the grace of alchemical transformation. An unexpected and miraculous arising is at hand. Yeah, so very mysterious reading here. Take that how that will fit for you, group number three. But I will leave it here. I hope that this reading was helpful. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. I'd appreciate it. And don't forget to check out our Patreon tribe where I do post exclusive readings every week over there. So I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.